What's going on? I'm Christopher St. Germain, and today I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create a funnel to collect emails from your clients. So let's go down to the Build a Funnel page, and we want to collect emails. We have three options here to collect emails, to sell our product, or to host a webinar. Right now we want to collect emails, so I will choose that one. We will name this um, funnel opt-in page, and let's go build the funnel. You can see you get two pages here, and there's a little explainer video there if you don't uh, know what you want it to do. Now here you get to choose your opt-in template, and there are a lot of templates available. Like you can pick any one of these templates, but the best order to go in is the order that it lays out for you here. So the opt-in page and then a thank you page. So if you start with an opt-in, then you should uh, definitely choose an opt-in template or your page might not work correctly. So go through here and find something that looks intriguing to you that kind of fits your style. Um, <clears throat> if you have certain branding that you want to do <clears throat> and you're looking for something that is along the lines of the branding that you want to use, then uh, look for something similar to that. If maybe you're selling a book and you can see that there's a few in here that have a book cover in them already. Let's see, this one has a good book in it. Let's choose that one. And now your opt-in page is already created. All you have to do is go in and edit the page to uh, set your branding, put your photos in there, put your verbiage in there. And we got a warning down here that says, finish setting up all funnel steps to use the funnel. So we'll go over to the thank you page. And we will choose a thank you page. Again, we want to kind of look for branding, what uh, what's going to fit with our style. And, I mean, you can change the images out and such, but um, if you've got something that matches the first page, then that's always a good idea. And if you have an idea that maybe you want to send them to uh, an affiliate site when you're when you finish taking them through the funnel, then that is something to keep in mind too. These are the most basic thank you pages. And here's an absolutely complete blank thank you page there. Let's choose that one. And now that we've picked the blank thank you page, let's go in here and see just how easy it is to edit. So we have the blank thank you page starter template. And if you see how these pages are built. There is sections, which is the green, and then there's columns, which is in blue, and then there's rows, which is in orange. And these are uh, these are different um, um, elements here. So like this is a text element inside this row, and we can jump out of that. If you wanted to set like a background image, you could go in here and choose the image. I kind of like, let's see. I hadn't planned this out ahead of time. Let's go to page two and see what I've got in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like this. There's the whole family. I kind of like this though. Oh wait, no, the one above it. Sorry, I changed my mind. Oh, I've changed my mind. Go back to, oops, go back to background, go back into the images, and go back to page two. There it is, this one. I think that's a pretty cool background image. And let's see what kind of settings. Do we have settings on there where we can, uh, there's a background color, and this is the, uh, opacity for the color. So maybe if we put a yellow over the top, 
Now, the, the photo is completely covering the color. So if we removed the background photo, the background would now be yellow. Uh, you have different options for the background position because you can do full, you can do 100% width. It's not going to change with the photo of this size. Uh, you could have a repeat on it. Ooh, that looks neat. I like that even better. So that's a that's a nice little background that's not going to um, be too obtrusive. But if you if you ended up full width section, if you ended up having a bunch of sections, or let's put a bunch of elements in here, add a new row, just a one column row. And you can add an element and uh, if it's an image element, that's kind of large. You can just duplicate these. Like you can duplicate as many times as you want, but you can see that's going to go down the screen. And then as you scroll down, that background image is still fixed. So it's not going to be too obtrusive. Okay. We don't want any of that. So we can even delete that whole area. And then we've come back here. Now this is a full width section and this section is not. So if we go into settings, uh, we can change the section width to full page and that will make this like uh, a top a header, nice little header up there. And maybe, uh, maybe we don't want a one section. Let's add a new row. We can put four columns in there and just get rid of this, get rid of this one. Okay. Now maybe you want to uh, put an image element in here and then you might have, uh, you might have nothing there. Put Just put a little space in there, put some text in here and put some text in here. And what you can do with this is like you could go and put your, I want to look at a, another logo. Where's my other logo? Maybe it's on page two. There we go. So you put your logo in there and then uh, you can resize that. It doesn't have to be that big. And then take this and put like, uh, if you had a members area, you can put that in there. Let's go to settings and that doesn't need to be nearly that large. You could go to advanced settings, maybe put a, put a border around it. Oh, that's border radius, which is going to put the uh, edges on the border and all edges for the border you want a full border uh, border style is like dotted solid or dashed we're going with solid and then choose your size i'm going to go with one pixel and you could put a drop shadow on it if you want like that i don't think it's necessary but it's okay and then instead of having to build all of that out again for this, I would just delete this. And then I would clone that and just grab it and drag it over here. And there you go. Then you can go in here and instead of members area, you could have like a uh, privacy policy. Or you could have links to different areas in your, in your funnel. Uh, you could even have buttons that would slide it down to a specific area on the page. So that's kind of nice. And when you go and look at this, we'll just preview it real quick. Uh, if I save it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know. We talked about that in the uh, talked about that in an earlier uh, video where you have to change your SEO metadata. So if we preview that, so it's just got kind of a nice header. You can move these around. I would put some padding on here. In fact, I would make this whole border smaller. 
let's take a look at that and see how easy that is. So if I go here, go to settings, there's no top margin. Come down here to padding though, and the bottom is huge, right? We can pull that up so it's not so huge. The top is huge too. Let's bring that up. And then when I go here and change these settings, I could put a little top margin in there just to move it down so it's kind of balanced. Where was that? That's a little too far. I want to come back one. Go to 30. Okay. And do the same thing with this one. Just open up the settings with the gear wheel. Put the top margin at 30. And there. Now it's all nice and balanced, even all the way across. And it's not too obtrusive. Um, do I want to put anything else in here? I think I would go to my next row. And then your next row could be um, like a, maybe a two-column row. And with these rows, they don't have to be centered like that. You can space them out however you want. So maybe we would want to put an image here and a paragraph over here. And on top of a paragraph, I'd probably want a headline, right? So let's just move that up there. I mean, this is how easy it is to start creating your page. And uh, maybe we've got, we've got some kind of book that we want to sell. Let's see what I got in here. Uh, here's one. There's one that I wrote a long time ago. I think I have one. This is kind of cool. Let's look at that one. Oh, that kind of goes with this nice too. 50 words you have to know. And let's go with a subheadline here. To survive in Korea. And then, you know, put whatever you want in here. I mean, it's already got the lorem ipsum. Uh, I don't like it center justified. I would rather justify to the left. And then we can just add. Come on, you. Where is it at? Let's go out of it. Come back in. There we go. Add more paragraphs. Oh, what's that? At the old Zoom meeting. I thought I had copied this. Copy. Paste. There we go. Put a couple of paragraphs in there talking about the book. This book is huge. So let's come over here and maybe make that 250. There you go. That looks a lot better, but it's too. Uh, too high. It's not balanced with this. So we can either take the top padding off of here and pull it up, which is what I would prefer to do. Or we could come over here and add some to this by doing that. And I like everything to be nice and balanced. That looks pretty good. And there you go. You've got, you know, your... This is, this is going to be uh, your thank you page. So you might say, um, hey, thanks for joining our group. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download this book. You can do that by clicking this button here. And well, we don't want a whole. You can just add a new element. It can be a button. You could say download here. And you can set that button up to go to your uh, Google files and, and connect with that booklet. And they can download it directly from the file. So it's super easy to, to create your pages, to create an entire funnel, 
to collect emails. And what do you know, you've got all of this stuff finished for you. This took us what, 15 minutes? How long would it have taken and how much would it have cost if I had to hire a developer to have done all of this for me? Let's take a look at it. And I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a nice, simple page and it's got a nice background to it. The booklet is here and it explains it here. And it's got a nice button right there. We could set these up to go to different areas if we wanted to. We can make these smaller too. These are really huge. Totally unnecessary to be that large. But, you know, those are decisions that you can make on your own once you've set up your own page. All right. I hope this video has helped. And if you have any questions or you want to see a specific type of funnel or uh, uh, you don't understand what the heck I'm talking about, then just post it down below. Let me know. And I'm happy to help you out. All right. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you later.